Hi, this is Dawn Monroe. I had a question in a course last week about PowerPoint and putting audio only on certain slides. So I'm just going to go through the whole thing with audio clips and how that works on your slideshow. So basically what you want to do when you want to include some music on a slideshow, maybe you're making a graduation video, wedding, reunion, retirement party, setting it up for a funeral, whatever you need to do, you've brought together a bunch of pictures and you want to put music with it. What you do is go to insert and you can go to media, uh, the media group. On my ribbon, you might see it um, a little squished here. You may see the whole thing display. And I'm looking for audio. And there I'm going for audio on my PC. This means I already have the music downloaded to my computer. And here I've got a music folder. And let me just grab one of these songs. Now there are places to get some free music clips. I got this one from Ben Sound. And I'll add the link for you in, um, in the copy here. But what you do when you add in a music clip, it puts a little a little graphic that looks like a speaker and there you can make that as big as small as you need I kind of hide it in the corner because once you set this up you're going to determine how you want it to play and um, you get a couple of tabs when you're clicked on it audio format so you can change uh, different aspects of this how it looks but what I really want to focus on is the playback, how it sounds. So a few things I'll point out. Sometimes you want to trim the audio clip. And here you've got a, a green bar for where you want to start it and a red bar for where you want to end the audio clip. So if you wanted to just play the bridge of something, you could do that. Um, I'm going to use the whole clip because it's not that long. And um, I'm, I'm going to use the whole thing for this. Say OK. Now here you can also fade the music in, fade the music out, and you get to pick the seconds that it does something like that. And fade it out, I could do that. And then adjusting the volume. Mine shows high right now. I'm going to change it to low just for the demo. Um, I don't really want it that loud when I'm playing it for you. Now here's the thing. When you add an audio clip to one slide, it only plays on the one slide. So very important, if you want this to play across slides, you need to click that option. If you want it to keep replaying the same song, you can loop it <laughs> so that it keeps replaying. You can hide this icon during the show if you wanted to. And you can rewind it uh, basically after playing so that it's reset uh, the next time you click it. Now, very important at the top. If you have other animations happening, you may want the music to start in a sequence of when you click. Like maybe you have some words fly in or a graphic fly in first. And then you want to be able to click this music and have it start at that time. That would be a click sequence in the animation pane. Here you want it to start automatically when you land on that slide. And here you also can say, I only want it to start when I click on it. So um, just a few things. That's what you can can do. Um, it, it's got other options in here. These are the main ones I'm going to focus on today. Okay, so then if I go ahead and I'm going to show you if I don't play it across slides, what happens when I play it. And I'm just going to go into present mode for just a second so you can see. I'm going to move from slide one to slide two. You'll see it does not play across slides. So here I've got it automatically starting. <laughs> And it automatically stopped because I did not have it play across slides. So let's go ahead and click that option again, playback, play across slides. 
And now I'm going to present it again. So there you see that that then played it across the slides. Now one of the questions that I got in my class that I was teaching was, what if I only want that music on specific slides? Well, my friends, let's take us back to that first one. This is the one I put the audio clip on. And let's turn on the animations pane. Now, in the animations pane, this has the sound has become part of the animation. So it wasn't living um, on the animations tab. I inserted the music from the insert tab. But now I want to go in and set up some effect options. And this is where I can say I want it to start playing from the beginning, but I want it to play, let's play it on four slides. Okay. Or I could stop it on a click or after current slide, whatever you decide you want. But this is a way I can do it. I can place the audio on the slide I want it to start and then end it so many slides after that. Unfortunately in here it doesn't give me the actual slide number I want to stop, but that's okay because if I add and change slides then it's giving me how many, a count of how many slides to begin and end it. So let's say okay here. So by the time I get to slide 5, which is going to be these little daisies down here, then it's going to stop playing that music. So let's try it again. I'm starting from here. I'm going to play the slide. Five. It stopped after four slides of running that sound. Okay, amazing. We've got that figured out. Now, a, a caveat I would add to this. What if, think about this. What if you're doing a slideshow for grandma's big party and you've got all these pictures and you just want to play a music set uh, of her favorite songs? Well, I'm about to do this coming up and I'm going to have two different things. I'm going to run the slideshow with all of her pictures in it but what I'm going to do is separately have a, a music playlist just playing on an audio uh, speaker device. And so that way I can just run the slideshow and run as many songs as I want to. Gosh, that sounds so much easier, doesn't it? So consider that also if you need a solution. Just set up your playlist as a separate entity instead of trying to add songs into the PowerPoint. So. Anyway, good luck with this, my friends. Hope this helps. Have a great, great day. Be sure and subscribe.